Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be covering 24W40A, the snapshot that has now added the Pale Garden, which I personally think is a flawed biome. So without further ado, let's investigate what this has added. Right here, I have the change log, and you can see there isn't really too much to talk about. Anything you saw during Minecraft Live is roughly the same here. Although, I do have some commentary in order to make it still interesting. Personally, I think, well, there is slash rotate, and that's a good feature. The Pale Garden isn't a very good biome. Don't get me wrong, the blocks are really good. The atmosphere is gonna need a little bit of work, but it's good enough to the point where it made me delay my cemetery tutorial. So, that... You know, it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, its generation and overall incentive to go there is pretty lacking right now. Either way, let's look in game to see what's wrong with it. Right here, I have a world that is exclusively pale garden. And you'll notice, there are no flowers. This is not a garden. And secondly, well, there is some Spanish moss looking stuff and the pale moss, but otherwise this biome is basically a reskin. There's nothing very interesting about it compared to the dark oak forest. In fact, this is straight up just a variant of it that includes the creaking mob, which means whenever you see dark oaks, keep an eye out for pale forest nearby. They seem to generate kind of like mountains do, which means they might end up being a meadow substitute in some areas. If you start mining down the trees, occasionally you'll find yourself a creaking heart. But not every tree has it, so you can't go in and manually destroy all the trees looking for the heart. But as you do this, you're going to find out that, well, the creaking exists. But it's kind of hard to find it during the day. So, what you need to do is change it to night. By the way, notice the atmosphere here, very dreary. Although it doesn't have all of the stuff needed, and I do think its atmosphere is a little bit lacking right now, so, a couple of minor changes and that part of the biome will be fixed. Now, changing it to nighttime, but first giving myself night vision, and then nighttime view. And what do you know? It's pretty interesting, and the creakings are here. And they're making their weird noises, and inside the trees, you might be able to find the creaking heart. However, it can be a little hard to find unless you punch the creaking. Because it'll do a little change to show you where the heart is, right here. Destroy it, what do you know, kill the creaking. No drops, which I think is fine, but that's basically the gameplay loop of the biome. The creakings will show up during the night, and you're going to have to look at them to make sure they don't move. But yeah, this biome is a little basic. If you look at everything, well, it's not going to be a threat, and even if you don't look, the creaking's damage is so horrifically low that it doesn't really matter. I'm currently on normal mode. That was one heart. A zombie is more threatening. And it even tells you where to go to kill it. I can straight up do this with my bare fist and I can go through and deal with this biome myself. I mean, I might be playing this game for over a decade, but something tells me this is a little bit too easy. And look, the heart is right there, and notably, it takes quite a while to mine. Should probably bring an axe to this, but what do you know? Creaking down. Hail oak logs in hand, and what do you know? That's pretty much the gameplay loop of the biome. And it has a bunch of sound atmosphere, because I'm a commentator in snapshot videos, it's not really feasible to hear them, but if you look around in your own instance of Minecraft, you'll start seeing how there's a lot of noises. Well, you're gonna be hearing them, but still. This biome has some atmosphere. Not enough yet, but it certainly does. Now, for some of the Creaking's attributes. It'll only spawn at night. It has 1 HP, although in survival it is immune to attacks, so though that's not really an issue. And it only moves when you're not looking. So, keep that in mind. There's also FOV, which is an interesting scenario you might think of when it comes to the creaking. It's a pretty fast mob, by the way. And you can see, I'm not even looking at it, but it is in fact pathfinding. It hit me, has a what seems to be Enderman attack animation, and 
the dealt one heart. It only deals a heart and a half on hard, which is standard deviation of how the damaging works in this game, plus 50% or minus 50% on difficulty, which means this guy only deals a heart. This guy does not have much going for him. A zombie is equivalent threat level, which means, well, why should I deal with this? It doesn't have any unique drops, which is, on its own, a completely fine mechanic. You don't need good drops to make a good mob. The Warden is plenty evidence of this, and I'm going to compare this to the Deep Dark a lot. And here's the problem. The creaking is a nuisance. It guards the creaking hearts, which are not a very useful block yet. I still have hope for this, but for now, not really. And why should I ever go here at night then? I have a nuisance. That doesn't give me anything useful. And well, yeah, it's only going to hit me a few times. I can look at it. There's the other mobs too, which kind of disrupt the atmosphere. This biome is just not very good. There's no reason to ever engage with its main mechanics. Go here during the day, take out the creaking hearts as you chop down trees, and what do you know, you've avoided the entire gimmick of the biome, and you've had a relatively normal experience. And that's one of the biggest issues. Without any reason to participate with the creaking, so much development has gone to nothing. And on top of that, well, its generation conditions I don't think are the best. The Dark Oak Forest is already a pretty decent biome. Is it the most interesting? No. But it has woodland mansions, it has the giant mushrooms, and generally are a biome you're pretty happy to see. And the Pale Garden is a variant of that. And I don't feel like it fits. Here's the problem with that. You have the two other major variant biomes of the game that actually hold something different. You have the cherry grove compared to the meadows, and you have the mangrove swamp compared to the swamp. And the swamp already has its own uses, but the mangrove swamp does something new with it. And what do you know, people really like the mangrove swamp. Although the normal swamp has been left in the dust, and personally I think it could have gotten a few glow ups here and there. Otherwise, it's still a pretty good biome, kind of like the dark oak forest. And the mangrove swamp is its own thing. It's not intrinsically tied to the swamp in terms of gameplay. There's a lot of the same things, but it's a different experience. And then we have the cherry grove compared to the meadow. The meadow doesn't really offer much. It's a nice biome and it does what it needs to do. There's the cherry grove. You have a very interesting thing that isn't done in Minecraft yet, the cherry biome. And you actually have a reason to go there, the cherry stuff. Same thing with the mangrove swamp with mangroves and the mangrove swamp even has frogs, but here's the thing about this biome. You go here once and you leave. The cherry grove remedies this by being a friendly biome that has a reason to go there. And then we have the mangrove swamp which remedies this by also having one, a lot of mangrove wood for easy collection, and two, it has the frogs. You do have a reason to go back. Not very often, but a reason nonetheless. First is this, I take my moss, I take my trees, I go home. Why should I ever return? And that's a huge problem with the biome. There's very little reason to ever come back, which means the biome falls flat. So, what do you think? Does this biome have a lot of intrinsic issues, or am I being a little too dramatic? It's up to you. Comment down below. I'd like to see your opinions, because, I don't know, it's kind of weird being on the side of, I don't like this Minecraft feature for once. Since I even supported things like chat reporting, quietly, of course, but this biome just, I don't know, disrupts the dark oak forest, an already pretty decent biome, that has a reason to go there in the form of woodland mansion, but yeah, there's no reason to ever participate in the gimmick, the atmosphere isn't quite filled out, I think that's okay, but yeah, the creaking is fundamentally a bad mob, and it brings down the biome a ton, so Hopefully Mojang figures out a way to improve upon this, but of course comment down below and tell me why I'm wrong. I'd like to actually like this biome, considering these blocks are so good and the atmosphere was so good that I straight up delayed my cemetery tutorial just to make sure I could build it in this biome. Either way, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. 
Gearsaw out.